We gotta go back. What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross, back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out top 10 craziest referee bumpers in WWE history. This should be a good one, man. It's always funny and hilarious when you see the referee just start flopping around and they're out for the match. They're out for the match until another referee comes out there and that referee may get hit with a move and now they out. And then the other referee comes back severely injured to count the one, two, three pin. It's always and has always for me been some of the funniest parts of a wrestling match. We're gonna check this out. Appreciate all the love and support. Let's get right into this one. one two, this Sign on. The ref bump is one of the most recurring tropes of a wrestling match. <laughs> oh my god! It's always fun to see a ref getting inadvertently taken out. And it's even better when a wrestler purposely attacks the referee. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Overall, the men in stripes have faced a lot of punishment over the years, and today we're highlighting the refs that have taken some of the worst beating as we look at the 10 craziest. Oh my god. Referees oh! In oh! Number 10, Jack Doan. God damn! Oh, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did y'all see that sliding? We got to run that. Bo, he must have been going at incredible speeds down that ramp to slide all the way to the other side of the ring, bro. That is taking sliding to the DMs on a whole new level. Look at the speed. Look at this. Look at this. God damn. <laughs> Jack was well known for getting in on the action during Divas <laughs> matches, but Doan has also been on the end of some vicious oh. attacks. Oh, damn! Oh! He's a <laughs> oh! Doan even suffered a legitimate concussion at the 1998 Royal Rumble. Oh, damn! Oh! What the hell? Jack Doan is attempting to win the hardcore title! Who remembers the hardcore title before it, it, it got bastardized into the 24-7 title? May the title rest in peace. <laughs> That's running his own bar while also being one of the WWF's senior officials. It's over here! <laughs> 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 However, his refereeing career was sadly cut short after he injured his shoulder taking a nasty bump in a Hell in a Cell match at Judgment Day 2002. Oh, oh my God. White is also remembered by the fans for being the Godfather's personal referee, which always resulted in entertaining victory celebrations. <laughs> <laughs> <Yo! laughs> this is a different time in wrestling. Oh, I miss the days. <laughs> That was great. Chad Patton, currently the WWE's longest serving referee, meaning he's taken more bumps than most of us. He starting with the company in 1999. Wow. Oh, oh. The table didn't break all the way. Oh, oh. Man, to the victory. Oh, my God. Come on. Oh, my God. Patton has featured in a few angles as well during this time, and even once had a match with Chris Jericho. Ring the bell, yeah. What a hard fought victory! Brian Hebner. Damn! Is for being the son of the legendary Earl Hebner. Earl's bumping ability certainly rubbed off on his son, as Brian has taken some brutal bumps. Oh, in the damn! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! Oh, no. Was involved in a memorable segment on SmackDown in 2003. This is great. Beatboxer for Brian Kendrick during a rap battle with John Cena. Give him a beat. <laughs> Number six, 
Mark Curtis, also known as Brian Hildebrand. Curtis was one of oh my. best referees in the 90s. Oh. He, much like his fellow WCW colleague, Randy Anderson, drifted <laughs> to the moves in the ring just as passionately as the fans did. <laughs> oh my god, Curtis I love it. He's also remembered for being on the receiving end of some high impact moves. He's up. <laughs> he just moved him right in the way. Oh no. Oh no! Five, referees fighting back. We'll take a mm -hmm. moment now to look back at the times when the referees Classic moments. thrown back on the wrestlers. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> he said, I'm not having that shit! gotta go back he started beating his ass bro he said hey he started giving him the beats oh what? <laughs> and then he started running oh this is a classic movie <laughs> How are you going to respect the ref set? Ain't no leaving the ref set. The only way you leave it is get jumped out. I love it. Ah. Fans had to know their boundaries as well. And if they went beyond them, then they were fair game to receive a beating. Mm -hmm. Yup. Yup. And, and that's just, that. hey, that was a dangerous moment, bro. If you jump that barricade and hop in that ring, they going to show you how really it gets. And they usually beat the crap out of you. I mean, they beat the dog crap out of you and you deserve it. So don't go to these events, live events, wherever. It doesn't matter if it's an independent show. It doesn't matter. Do not hop in that squared ring, that squared circle, as they say. Because you will catch the beats and you deserve every every ounce of the beating. And the refs get in on it too. They beating Number his ass. <laughs> Earl Hebner. Earl knew yep, how to take classic one. Earl Hebner, man. Oh! Oh! Oh, his foot was caught in the rope. Oh! <laughs> it seemed like every big Attitude Era main event featured an Earl Hebner ref bump. Uh huh. <laughs> oh! In the Earl is great, Earl man. A goat. Line where he grew tired of the McMahon Helms at mm -hmm, I remember Hebner this. Back, but ended up briefly losing his job before being rehired. <laughs> bro, Earl, I remember this storyline where Earl was like, bro, y'all not about to push me around. This, that was a, man, man, good times. When the referee had a storyline and that shit was entertaining. Oh, take me back. <laughs> Earl even earned a victory over DX during this period with The Rock as his tag team partner. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. three. Nick Patrick. Whether you remember him as a heel referee of the NWO or ah! the Alliance, one thing for sure is that Nick Patrick certainly got his comeuppance for being such a crooked ref. No! Oh! The way he comically sold after being hit was particularly <laughs> It's the flailing of the hands, bro. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. <laughs> he, started, he started off in the, the cabin. <laughs> oh, my. Yo, this video is so great. This.
It's bringing joy to me today. Mike Kyoto. Kyoto became an iconic wrestler. Classic ref as well. Tenure with WWE, officiating some high profile matches while also taking some big bumps in the <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my Jesus. Imagine you're doing your job. You're about to come down the ramp at full speed to make sure you count the pin. Only to get blindsided mid-stride mid and sent to the gulags immediately. We got to run that back. That was hilarious. Look at this. Look, just look at the speed he's running at. And then Shane comes out of nowhere. Sit your ass down. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Kyoto was the referee on hand for the first ring implosion in mm -hmm. WWE history. <laughs> Charles Robinson. Robinson takes the spot due to the sheer amount of punishment yes. received as a referee. I believe he was the ref when there was another ring implosion, uh, I think, during the uh, the the um, pandemic era, if you guys remember, uh, I think it was Braun Strowman and was it Braun Strowman in in the Fiend? I don't remember. I forgot who it was. I you guys know it's the it was the infamous clip where he just fell backwards out of nowhere. I hope he shows it. But it was another ring implosion for the at uh, for the pandemic era. If I'm not. I, I want to say it, it, it had to have been recently for the pandemic era, and he just fell into oblivion. I do believe Braun Strowman was in that match. I hope they showed the clip. God damn. Oh! He's one of the best bumping refs there's ever been in wrestling. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Lil Nate has wrestled a few matches in the past, and the plan was for him to feature in the ring even more until he suffered a collapsed lung as a result of a macho man elbow drop. Oh, but that didn't stop wow. him from taking even more bumps throughout his career. <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> 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 yep. <laughs> I told y'all. I told y'all. I knew I was correct. Yes, they showed. Sing Whoa. Whoa. He didn't have to do all that, bro. <laughs> this thing looked like he fell into the void. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> we got to go back. I'm so glad he showed that clip. I knew I was correct on that, bro. <laughs> Whoa! What? And that brings us to the end of this video. As always, this is if great. you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like. Oh, man. Subscribe. subscribe to Wrestling Flashback if you haven't already. This video was fantastic. I'm... I'm... You know it's good when I'm starting to sweat, bro, just from laughter. This was fantastic. I love... Rest, uh, like wrestling in general, when it involves selling, it, it just brings me joy, especially the referees. This was fun, man. Comment down below, let me know who's your favorite referee of all time in wrestling. Let me know down below, man, and uh, we'll have that discussion in the comment section, man. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel so far. Road to 150k, appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all in the next one. Peace.